we will install Microsoft Visual Studio, Intel One API Base Toolkit, then NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit. Open up your web browser. Download Visual Studio. From the Microsoft website, download Visual Studio Tools. Visual Studio 2020 Community Edition pre-download. Now open folder Visual Studio Setup. Yes. Continue. In this page, make sure .NET Desktop Development selected. Desktop Development with C++ selected. Also, Individual Components. We will select .NET Framework 3.5 Development Tools. Scroll down. We will select C++ CLI support for version 1.43 Build Tools latest. Scroll down. From the SDKs, Libraries, and the Frameworks. Scroll down. We will select C++ 14.3. 5. MFC 4B143 Build Tools X86 and X64 We selected this option Then ATL4 version 1.43 Build Tools X86 and 64 is automatically selected After installation, we can add more component Now scroll down you can find Windows 11 SDK is selected by default. Now we will install while downloading. Click install. Please be patient. It will take some time depending on your internet connection. Now we installed Visual Studio. Skip this for now. I will select Visual C++ Dark Theme. Start Visual Studio. Continue without code. Now close it. Close it. Close all. We will reboot our machine. My current session continues after rebooting my machine. I have just rebooted my machine. Now we will install Intel One API Base Toolkit. Download One API Base Toolkit. Click this link from Intel Download Intel One API Base Toolkit. From this website, we have to sign in. Registration is free, so please register yourself and sign in. Select Operating System, Windows. Select Distribution, Online Installer. Scroll down, Download. Folder, double click it. Yes. Continue. I accept the terms of the license agreement. Continue. Click Next. I do not consent to the collection of my information. Install. A reboot will be required to enable certain feature. Install. It will take some time. Please be patient. Now click Finish. We have to reboot our machine. This session continues after rebooting my machine. I have just rebooted my machine. We will now install CUDA Toolkit. Download CUDA Toolkit from nvidia.com CUDA Toolkit 12.1 Downloads. I will select Windows, then version. I'm currently using Windows 10. 
If you are using Windows 11, then select Windows 11. Because I am using Windows 10, I will select this button. Then Network. You can download. Show in folder. Double click this. Yes. OK. Agree and continue. Express. Next. It will take some time. Please be patient. Now, click Next. Click Close. Agree and continue. Enter your email address. Registration is free, so please register and sign in. Skip Driver. You can download Cheapos Game Ready Driver. It will take some time. Express installation. Yes. It will download Cheapos Game Ready Driver. Please be patient. Now Cheapos Game Ready Driver is installed. Close. Exit. I will close this web browser. We need to restart our machine. This session continues after restarting my machine. I have restarted my machine. Now we will install download open CL C++ headers Kronos group open CL CLHPP GitHub click this link Kronos group open CL CLHPP click download we also need scroll down open CL Headers. Click this link. Code. Download. Show in folder. I will delete these files. Then extract. Also extract. I extracted these two zip files. Please understand. In this folder, cl, you can find cl.h six months ago then cl exh two weeks ago also cl layer two months ago so cl layer and cl ext these are updated two weeks ago show in folder CLHPP main include CL you can find these two header files copy go up CL header main CL paste it here I will open another file explorer I will close it and arrange side by side. Now, system program files x86 Intel 1API compiler latest Windows include SQL CL These files are created on December 1st. In this file, two of these files are created very recently, just two weeks ago. So, copy, paste it here. Replace the files in destination. Do this for all current items. Continue. We overwritten.
now system program files nvidia gpu computing toolkit cuda version 12.1 include cl right click paste replace the files in the destination continue now you can close in my next episode we will set environment variables for opengl cuda and opencl programming